So you remember the day back in, oh God, when did they make the bodega when Todd Big was out in California before he moved to Texas and all the stuff was swinging out there and they were doing these California customs and all that stuff. Remember the program? They had the Blade Brothers on TV, all that. The Bodega. I remember Jim Skelton like with that maroon Bodega. What a legend that knife was, right? And boy, I mean, by the time I got around to it, um, uh, maybe, oh God, I don't know, maybe it was 2015 or something, but I got the Bagotti in blue and gold, which Skelton also had on his channel, and I loved it, and it was thick and big and chunky and whatever, and I got one, I ordered it, I had to wait, I don't know how many months to get it, and it was like 2000 it was a little over $2,000. That was a lot. Once you, once I got it in my hand, it was like this was wonderful and all this. And I, those are some of the earliest pictures I have on my Instagram of that Bagatti on there. But you know what? I ain't got it no more. I didn't have it for long. I had his Quaken one too, right? Uh, but uh, that's back when I got my first uh, oh, ADV Butcher and that kind of thing. But so that's what this reminded me of. And I thought, this is $120. This is G10. This is D2 Blade. $120. And people are going to go, that's crazy. That's a lot of money. But you know what? If you ain't paying $2,000, all of a sudden it just seems like a bargain. I just love the design, so I had to do it. You can get this in tan as well. You can get this in black as well, right? And then, you know, so I, I grabbed it, and I actually sent it in to get tested too. But let me just show you, like 120 bucks, you can get the one in tan on White Mountain. And in LTK, your discount code for 10% off. So no, it's not 120 now. It's $12 off, right? So is it 110? No, it's 108. Okay. And there's no tax or shipping cost. So it's 108. Okay. It's 108 to your door. What do you think? Yeah. I'm still kind of pricey. I, I, I get it. Uh, and then it says nothing on this page. Um, but you know, this is the, with the Astio. And so there was a guy saying, yeah, I mean, I always lusted for that knife too. When it came out and of course it was like, 2000 bucks, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then now you can get this too, 120 bucks. And then you can get the mini, uh, the glimpse. Mini glimpse is seven inches overall length, 79 bucks minus 10%. You know, that's crazy. I had, I still want the full size glimpse that we knives made. Okay. I want it in the black carbon fiber slash black G10, whatever. You know, that's what I want, that full-size one. I had it once. I should have never got rid of it. I'd like to get it back. Okay, but here's the Quaken. Okay, and this is in a synthetic wood. I've always wanted synthetic wood. <laughs> Hold on. No, no, not at my age. Please, Doc. Okay, but here's the test results. It just didn't sound right all the way around, did it? Okay, um... But here's the bodega. This, and, and see the dot? See the dot? There's the dot, okay? So how hard was this sucker? It was a 62.1 rock, wow, on D2. I mean, and it did test as D2. Well, you can see chromium, tw tw it, D2 is 12% chromium. And vanadium can run, god dang, anywhere from what, 0.5 to 1 point something, 1.1 maybe, but usually it's under 1%. But so this is 0.73, this is fine, and then it's fine, blah, blah, blah. Okay, man, I'm sending this for a cutting test, and I, sometime, I wanted to do this first. This will be in my next cutting test batch because I want to see 
how good does this hold an edge with a 62 Rockwell, you know, on it? I'm going, maybe, uh, maybe it'll, maybe it'll hold an edge for a long time. I don't know. And it's a hollow grind, right? It, yeah, it might be worth the money. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is all, you know, a personal thing, you know, and this is, of course, steel, right? It's not titanium, okay? It's cool. It's chunky. I love the design. It's basically a full-size knife. Basically. Let's see what basically means. Well, I mean, there's, there's, what? There's three and a half. Let's just call it three and a half, I guess. 90 millimeters, overall length, eight and a quarter, or under eight and a quarter, eight and an eighth, you know, a little bit. So it's a little bit, just a skosh shorter than a paramilitary two, but pretty much the same size as, as Maxi here. But pretty close to the same. I had to clean that blade up one of these days. I keep using it and using it. It just stays sharp. That Maximet, that's some shit. Um, and here's Protec. Mordax. So, that's, yeah. I mean, it's a full-size knife like, like these other two. So, but this, this ain't no 3.8 ounces. What do you want to bet? Oh, uh, let's put it on the scale. Bing, bing, bing. Almost six ounces, my friends. Yeah, it's it's a pocket woggler. And 155, 165 grams, it's under 200. Is that good news? I'm trying to make the best of the situation. Um, The fit and finish doesn't seem bad. I mean, it's not overwhelmingly wonderful but i'm trying to figure out what i would pick on i mean these edges here are not really rolled over or that you know it just for some reason i'm and i, I you guys comment as well but tell me what do you think i mean do you think like maybe it could have been just a little bit higher level of finish on here um i think these handles are the only thing i'm thinking about here that where it could these little edges along here could have been rolled a little bit or something uh too much like injection molded or something and just raw out of the popped out of the mold you know i don't know so maybe not work there i think the blade's fine it looks good. Um, what is our lockup on this? Twenty-five percent. Nothing to brag about. Maybe thirty. Maybe thirty. That's a big old hoss. This piece. That's what drives the weight there. But then again, the subframe is kind of handsome, isn't it? It's. It kind of makes it the distinctive piece here. But I'm not, I don't know if I'm understanding why we need to do a black pocket clip. And I'm not sure I like this layout here. So, and the black backspacer, so you're doing that and you're matching the clip with it. I don't know. So, hmm. Um, I'm just trying to think if that clip could have been rethought a little bit. And, you know, it kind of looks like it looks cheap compared to the rest of the knife it looks kind of cheapy i think um but you know what overall the appearance on the presentation side is still quite fetching quite fetching and especially when you've got this fuller here with the holes in it i've always liked that i never liked it when they did no fuller and you can finger flick it from the fuller like that the detent is is a no-fail detent. That's a pretty strong detent, which is good and bad, but on the bad side, it's like you're trying to flick this, finger flick it, and if the, if the detent was a little lighter, it'd be a little easier. It's snappy, okay? So there's a plus 
And of course, the design flow is great. I mean, it's a bodega, man. I mean, be what it may. Now, it'd be nice if there was some kind of aftermarket or dress up pocket clip for this. I think it'd really change everything on this knife. Um, I just like, I like this subframe lock. I like all this. I, and I love that blade. So, hmm, okay. And 62.1 Rockwell, hollow grind, D2. Okay. Um, still, okay. It'd have been better at $79, wouldn't it? Been way better at 89, uh, 79, somewhere in there. But, you know, it, it's nice. It's not super drop shutty right now, but we will take it apart. We'll look see what we can see about this knife but you know wow that's that's some shit and you know what it's a chunky monkey in the hand i should have got to this quicker it's six tenths of an inch at 15.1 or 15 millimeter uh blade stock yikes blade stock not bad but 3.5.14 blade stock is is chunky compared to what they're doing these days. They're doing a lot of 2.7, 2.8, 3.0 millimeter. You get around to 3.5, that's that's some thick stuff, okay? It's going to add weight too, but you know what? It needs it for this, doesn't it? It's centered. I'm not getting blade play lock rock. I'm not I'm not talking about uh, you know, quality issues like that. I'm just saying just, you know, I don't know. You think about, you look at this, I, it just, I don't know, just seems like it could have been rolled over a little bit better, whatever, I don't know. But you, you come back to this and you just keep saying, that's awful good, isn't it? Now let's think about the disassembly, and obviously we're not taking it from the front. Let's hope there is a captured pivot. I mean, it's coming unscrewed. Yeah, there's a captured pivot in there. Okay. Now, are these number eights? Nah. See, if you're going to have that many body screws, I just, it would have been nice. And no reason it couldn't be number eights. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get on here. Because we got a bunch of body screws to do. They're coming out, you know, pretty simple. And I think they're all the same length. Yeah, so we don't have issues there. And then let's let's take the pocket clip off. It'd be my pleasure. I'm just not in love with this pocket clip. I'm not sure I'm in love with it being black. Um, and I didn't take that one out. How did I do that? How did I miss you, buddy? Oh, and I didn't either, did I? I thought maybe I just didn't drop it out, but you know what? I never even unscrewed it. Okay. Are we done? Are we finally done? Good Lord. Okay, so here's your pivot surround, etc. There's your subframe. Uh, let me see. So this is all part of this or not and uh am i gonna need to get my wow they did some they did some weight relieving under there let me see if i need to get my fid out and i don't know if that's even gonna do me any good what do i need to do to get you to move buddy Woo! We have to struggle with you. Yes, we did. We had to struggle. Okay, here's this one piece of steel. It's rock and roll, isn't it? No wonder this thing's that heavy, right? That's all kinds of crazy right there. And then here's the pivot surround. That was something to pull apart. And let's see what we got in here. Here's the pivot. 
and obviously it's captured there's no like logo or anything on the front uh, but you know you don't want it spinning um, you don't want to spin to win and yeah it's captured over on this side on this lock bar side steel craft all titanium 450 bucks right the 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 mid tech one in G10 what 15 1600 blah 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 whatever okay um where's the 250 dollar one in G10 with titanium subframe and maybe a 20 CV blade I like this all right take care thank you so much we do love them knives you guys stay sharp